Hey guys, what's going on? Dusty here from All Around Performance doing a real quick video of one of our SSR 70s that we have in stock. This machine is available in two different styles, automatic and semi-automatic. I'll explain the differences to you. When you buy an automatic SSR, all you have to do is just twist the throttle and the machine just takes off. The other option is a semi-automatic and you have to shift the gears, rev it up. Once it runs out of speed, you're gonna shift again What's nice about that feature is it teaches the kids to learn how to listen for RPMs and shift the bike as necessary up and down. That's super cool. I'm actually gonna do a real quick walkthrough on this. So I'm sitting at home with my family, kind of show you, we actually use these bikes, we love these bikes. Uh, we, we sell a ton of them, stock a ton of them. If you guys ever need more information, take a look at the website, but I'm gonna walk you through a few more things here. So if you notice right here on, if you guys right here on the side, it's got a real nice kickstart. Keeps it away from the exhaust guard here. Really easy for the child to start. You don't have to worry about them catching her shin on a foot peg or anything along them lines, okay? Nice wide foot pegs that do fold up in case the child decides to fall over. This isn't gonna tear your lawn up. Also, keeps them safe just in case the boot, in case their leg or their boot or something like that gets caught. You notice right across the bottom, real nice brake lever here. The brake lever is gonna be a hydraulic rear brake kind of makes up nice so that way you don't have to worry about the drum bakes like most dirt bikes. This right here on the handlebars is going to be your front brake setup. It's going to lock up your front wheel right there. And then right here you'll notice this screw. Come on and get a real close look up on this screw. This screw right here is designed when you turn it in, it only allows the throttle to go so far. And then as you turn this screw out, it allows you to go even further and further and further with the throttle. What's nice about that is my son, you can turn it back up here. What's nice about that is my son, this is the first time ever riding this bike, obviously with all the safety gears, important. What we do is we set that about halfway for him to get started. That way he doesn't go what this bike's maximum potential is. That works out pretty cool. Here's another feature, come on back in here. You notice right here on the handlebars, you've got yourself a kill, a kill tether. What you do is you hook the child up to this and this thing pulls off. In case the child falls off, this right here will release and shut the bike off. And you actually end up hooking this up to the child's wrist or to the child's coat or his pants. Keeps the bike, it shuts the bike off just in case they're near, near the bike when they fall. So that works out pretty cool. So I'm gonna rotate this thing around real quick. Show you a couple features on this side. So you'll notice that it's got an on off reserve. So that way they can just put the fuel on and they can use the bike. And once they start running out of gas, with reserve, they can rotate this lever. And what that does is it allows the child to have a little bit of extra gas to get them home just in case they're in a field or far away in the lawn. It does have a built-in kickstand. Shifter is adjustable. You can move your shifter up or down depending on what size feet or what the child is wearing on his feet. Also, the brake lever does fold in like this as long with the pedal in case the child falls over or the bike catches something, it won't drag them down. You'll notice on the front, it does have front front disc brakes. Real nice heavy duty 420 chain, and it is adjustable. You'll notice that these bikes, if you buy them stock, the chain generally is the weakest part of this bike. It's the one thing that we try to upsell in the business is to make sure, spend an extra $25, $30 and get yourself a chain. Don't mind my son, he loves riding this bike. He's a part of it. so. You know we're family here so if you guys have any other questions feel free to let you know take a look at the website thanks for watching